family and friends and fellow YouTubers, it's Kim here from Kim's Country Corner and I am here in the Hancock Homestead because it is time to make homemade salsa. Okay friends, so since we have the tomatoes prepared and ready to go, um, I want to go ahead and read through the Ball Complete Book of Home Preservings uh, recipe to tell you what all ingredients we're going to need besides just the tomatoes. So, to make either 10 8 ounce jars, which are jelly jars, or 5 pint jars, which is what we're going to be doing, are the pint sized jars, here's what I will need. 7 cups of chopped cored peeled tomatoes. 2 cups of finely chopped onions. 1 cup of coarsely chopped bell pepper. Um, now I like to use the different colors of bell peppers. Um, even though it calls for green, I like to use green, yellow, and red. I just think it adds nice coloring to it. And so since it only needs 1 cup of the bell peppers, what I do is I just use a third cup of each color. Okay? Eight jalapeno peppers, seeded and finely chopped. Well, we do not like uh, that many jalapeno peppers. It makes it too hot for our taste buds. So there are eight chopped up in here, but I will only use half of this per recipe. Okay, so we go with four jalapeno peppers. Three cloves of garlic, finely chopped. Um, we don't like a strong garlic taste, especially one of my daughters. So I go with lighter garlic also. I only use two cloves and uh, have finely chopped them. Okay, one can of the tomato paste and one half cup of loosely packed, finely chopped cilantro. Okay, well, in the past, when we used a half a cup of the cilantro, it was too strong of a taste for us. As you can tell by now, we have very mild taste buds. Um, so we decreased it the following year to a fourth cup, and that was the perfect measurement for us. Okay, and then a half teaspoon of the cumin, okay? And uh, that worked out okay. Okay, so now that we have all of our ingredients, uh, step one says, in a large stainless steel saucepan, which I have back here ready to go, combine tomatoes, onions, green peppers, jalapeno peppers, garlic, tomato paste, vinegar, cilantro, and cumin. Bring to a boil over medium high heat, stirring constantly. Uh, once brought to a boil, reduce heat and boil gently, stirring frequently until thickened for about 30 minutes. Okay? And while you're waiting for your salsa to cook, you can prepare your canner, jars, and lids. So that's what we will be doing now. Alright, so seven cups of tomatoes. Two cups of onion, all right, one cup of coarsely chopped green pepper, once again I'm going to use all three colors, so I'm going to do a third cup of the green. Third cup of the yellow. Aren't those yellows just pretty? <laughs> okay, and the third cup of the red. And that will make a nice, beautiful looking salsa. All right, and then um, I need to do half of the jalapenos here. So, which I think is going to be about a third cup of them. Yeah. All right, and then a third cup of the jalapenos. Alright, then it 
says um, three cloves of garlic. Okay, so here is my cloves of garlic going in. One can of tomato paste. Okay. three-fourths cup of white vinegar. Okay, now this is a one-cup measure, so I'll only do three-fourths of that. All right. Let's see, I'm going to stick those back in the onions there. Um, one-half cup of loosely packed, finely chopped cilantro. Okay, we are doing a fourth cup. So here's the cilantro. That's what it looks like. Okay? Fourth cup. Half cup was just too much for us. Okay? Um, one half teaspoon of ground cumin. Okay, so here's my cumin. Here's my measuring teaspoon. All right. You can see the green peppers and the yellow peppers, the jalapeno peppers, the tomatoes, bright red tomatoes. All right, so I'm going to get all of this stirred together and I'm going to bring it to a boil. And then I'll show you what it looks like. All right. I'm going to cook this until it gets a little bit thicker, okay? Um, about 30 minutes. So I'm going to set my timer here in just a minute. Okay, friends. Well, the timer just went off to tell me my salsa is ready. And I do believe it is. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with the 30 minutes. And uh, while I was waiting for the salsa to cook, I went ahead and got all my canning uh, supplies ready to go. So I have my jars. They have been pre-washed. I got out the canner, and I put the number of jars that it will hold, which is eight. Okay, and then I have my lids, which you also have to heat up. I have them ready to go. And then you do not have to heat up the rings, but I always do. I always just put my rings and lids in the same pan and heat them all up at the same time. All right, so step three was ladle the hot salsa into hot jars, leaving one half inch headspace. Remove air bubbles and adjust headspace if necessary by adding or subtracting salsa. Wipe rim, center lid on jar, screw fan down until resistance is met, and then increase to fingertip tight. And you always want to make sure that you're going hot into hot, okay? That's why your jars need to be hot because your um, sauce or salsa will be hot, okay? So, turn these burgers off. All right, so I got out my hot jar here. I'm going to set it on a plate just to try to avoid a mess a little bit. All right, I'm going to use my funnel. And I'm going to use my ladle to ladle in my salsa. See how beautiful that is? Sure the one half inch head space. This thing. All right, another thing that you need to do before you measure a head space though is to mush down your um, ingredients inside to make sure you get rid of any air pockets. 
Okay, you do that with this header spacer. And then you measure your head space. Okay, that will be just right. The reason you want to do that is because as it cooks, it will push up. Okay, and you don't want your lids coming off. All right, then I'm going to wipe off the rim because I don't want any residue on that rim. I want to make sure I get the rim wiped off so that I have a nice seal. All right, I'm going to get one of the lids. Okay, I'm going to place that on center here. Get one of the rings. Screw on tight, fingertip tight. All right, and then it is ready to set over here until I'm ready to put them all in at the same time. All right, step four. Place jars in canner, ensuring that they are completely covered with water. Bring to a boil and process both the 8 ounce and the pint jars for 20 minutes. Remove canner lid, wait 5 minutes, and then remove jars. Alright, so let's do that step. Oh well. Alright, it's boiling, so I'm going to go ahead and put in my jars. And I think I can get 8 in, but I'm just going to do 5 at a time. So the timer is going off telling me that they have been boiling for 20 minutes, but now I need to remove the lid and boil for an additional 5 minutes. So I'm going to reset my timer for 5 minutes. Okay friends, so that's the timer for the additional 5 minutes without the lid. So I'm going to turn off my timer here, and then I'm going to grab my jar grabber. I'm going to remove these five jars. And we should start listening for pops. That would mean that they have sealed. You do not need to wipe the water off the top, just let it evaporate on its own. And then the second batch will be ready. Put the lid on. The first 20 you do with the lid, the last five you do without the lid. Alright, and these, I know I heard two pops. Yeah, I see one, two. So we should be hearing more pops soon. So five from the first batch, five from the second batch, ten, ten and a half pint jars all together. That's a good batch. All right. Two. All right. So if you like this video, can you please give me a thumbs up? Hit that like button so that the YouTube algorithm will know to share my videos. And if you want to know more about what's going on in my corner of the world, hit that subscribe button over there to Kiln's Country Corner. And if you know of any family or friends that might enjoy my lifestyle, be sure and share my videos. I talk about a wide range of subjects. So, thank you for coming today, and I hope to see you again. Bye for now.